You know, I did not expect to be recording another Whitetail video so soon. In fact, we recorded one very recently where I was talking about how I'd like to see an update uh, kind of related to grinding in the Hunter Call of the Wild. And I thought that was going to be the only Whitetail video we made for at least the next couple weeks. But sure enough, of course, whenever I think that something comes up like uh, this great one that we got and we have to make another video relating to Whitetail. But, you know, can't really complain when we're getting something like a great one, and that's what we've got to show off today, and man, this one was a doozy, and we took it down with the brand new 7mm bolt action rifle. Let's just, uh, finish off this guy real quickly as he tries to run away. There we go, we got number three down from this zone. It's always nice when I can get at least two or three of them down in one zone. I'm sure that at this point, quite a lot of you probably expected this next Great One video to be uh, relating to a Great One Moose since we've dumped over 4,000 kills into that grind with virtually nothing to show for it. But we, in fact, did get a Whitetail as our next Great One. And uh, I'll give you guys a little bit of a backstory as to how this ended up happening. It started with me saying during a live stream for Moose that I wanted to jump back to Whitetail. And I was planning to do an evening stream on the night that we ended up getting this thing where we were going to hunt whitetail deer. But after taking a quick shower and getting some dinner made and doing a few chores around the house, I lost track of time and decided to cancel the stream. But I decided that even though I wasn't going to stream, I should probably still do a little bit of whitetail grinding. So I hopped into the Discord with a bunch of my friends like Caitlin, uh, Jebba, Nathan, Ace, and my brother Johnny and decided to get some grinding going. I believe Flanky was there as well at the beginning of the uh, conversation, but had left by the time I actually ended up getting the great one. But anyway, I jumped in with them, was chatting for a while as I was shooting some whitetail deer, and then eventually we ended up finding him. Now we had found a few different level threes throughout the night. I killed a little bit over 200 whitetail in total, and I believe found three level threes, including a level two diamond. So we were having a pretty good night. It was definitely better than a lot of the nights that I've had of grinding recently. So we were off to a fantastic start. As we take down a couple beautiful whitetail off in the distance and my voice decides to die uh, mid-sentence there. <laughs> And because I was uh, chatting with them as I was grinding, you guys will end up hearing them in part of the clip as well because uh, I was talking to them and I record all of my grinds just to make sure I don't miss anything crazy that could happen. So they, there will be a little bit of uh, talking in the background when we spot the great one from some voices you may not have heard here on the channel before. Another thing I wanted to mention before we actually show off the clip is that one of the reasons why I continue to grind Whitetail Deer is uh, not only because we still really badly want to get the typical rack great one, but also because I'd like to show that, at least from what I've seen, I don't believe great ones get affected by herd management. We did a lot of herd management during our first grinds, and uh, since we've stopped doing it, we've still had about the same kill count per great one, and I want to continue grinding to show that there is uh, some correlation to that. But obviously with anything like this, it's going to be very heavily opinion based and what I say might not line up with what other people say and who knows who's really right in the end, but out of my experience, these are my thoughts and I definitely think that at this rate, it really does seem like it has no effect on the spawns of great ones as uh, this one was very similar to my other grinds in terms of length. But again, after we show off the great one, we will take a look at the uh, statistics of this grind as well as some of the other grinds from the past. So without further ado, let's jump straight into this amazing kill on this great one. Great. Oh yeah. Right. Like, uh, the Call of the Wild community definitely has a lot of awesome- OH GREAT ONE! Dude, oh, oh my gosh. Hey! <laughs> no way. Oh! Oh, let's go! Oh my gosh, he's a big boy! Great one vibes, baby! Oh my gosh, it's a big rack! <laughs> Nice. Oh my Let's god. Let's go! You literally Woo! Out. It's <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, it's time. Seven millimeter. Oh my gosh. I can't I believe that, man. Level three, and then I yeah. saw it and I was like, no, that's a 10. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe right. that. That's insane. You know what that means? Less kills than last time. This is like 1,400 kills, I think. 
Of course, the one night that I decide I'm going to skip doing the Whitetail stream and just kind of relax and uh, kill some Whitetail, Whitetail while I chat with uh, Caitlin and Nathan and Jebba and my brother Johnny and uh, Ace as well. And of course, we end up getting him then. What are the odds? But, you know, at least we got it. At least we got it. This one right here, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, we have got approximately like 210 kills tonight. Which, if, it, if my calculations are correct, that brings us up to about 1,550 kills, which is literally identical to our last grind. I had to real quickly uh, calculate that out and look at the actual, like, uh, stat sheet that I've been keeping track of. And this is literally 1,550 kills like our last one. And we're getting them like clockwork around 1,200 to 1,500, sometimes even less. This is a monster, though. This looks to be one of the widest big rack whitetail we've ever seen. And we're going to get to take it out with the brand new 7mm bolt action as well. Oh, that's not it. That's it right there. I'm so excited for this. It's been a little bit because we haven't really been hunting whitetail recently. I've been focusing on the moose primarily. And I've just kind of been off and on hunting whitetail. Like one or two days out of the week, I'll go and shoot 1 to 200 whitetail. And that's really been the extent of my Great One whitetail grinding recently. So... The fact that this guy showed up is amazing. Uh, we're going to see if we can get him to go alert by shooting straight up in the air. If this doesn't work, we can shoot next to him. Okay, that worked. Let's go ahead and boom. That is going to be the end of that monster. Look at that. It feels so good to finally have another great one, Whitetail, down. And it's big rack. It's definitely not what we're looking for. We're looking for the typical rack or a fabled piebald, which is insanely rare. But we at least got ourselves a big rack, a great one, Whitetail, again. This is definitely going to throw a wrench in my whole uh, upload schedule. I was actually planning to upload a video uh, with me and Brobert today, trying to find diamonds on his maps because he said he doesn't have any. But it looks like we're uploading a great one video instead. That is awesome. Let's see. This guy's kind of in the ground, so we can't really get good pictures. Let's go ahead and claim him. 633. He's not as big as I thought. He definitely is not my biggest big rack great one white tail, but that's still amazing. What a beauty. Let's tax that before we crash or anything weird like that. And let's get ourselves a couple screenshots because that's actually a pretty cool pose to get him in. That is uh, really awesome right there. Love to see it. Finally, another great one, Whitetail. And uh, it's a doozy. It's a doozy for sure. And we took it with the 7mm, the brand new 7mm bolt action, which just makes it even sweeter and a kind of a risky angle as well. But we got it. I just realized that I recorded that uh, first segment of the video without the HUD turned on. So yeah, now that we got the HUD back on, Let's go ahead and go over the stats from this grind in particular. Now, this grind was very similar to the last two. We ended up getting 1,390 whitetail deer kills, as well as a total of 15 diamonds and two rares before getting that great one. This is very much in line with previous grinds, as the one before this was 1,550 with uh, seven diamonds, which is quite low, actually, and uh, seven rares, which is actually quite high. The grind before that was slightly quicker than the last two at 1,280 kills with uh, 31 diamonds. That was the grind where we had about 200 kills of herd management, and then the other 1,000 were after we stopped doing it. So that one does have a little bit more diamonds, but it still has about the same kill count for the great one. Then if we take a look at the final five grinds that we did with herd management before we decided to stop doing it, it was very interesting kill counts. A lot of them right in line with what we're getting now with a few that happened sooner. But after you get 20 great ones or 19, I guess we have 19 whitetail currently. It's kind of natural that you will have a few grinds that go a little bit quicker. I mean, I've got a initial spawn from before we even did it that is technically my fastest great one ever. So the kill counts for our last five herd management grinds that we did before we stopped it and continued grinding to get the most recent three was uh, 160 for our last herd management grind. The one before that was 1220 
The one before that was 230. Then we have one that was 1700 as well as one that was 1350. So a lot of these are the same kill counts with a couple being the exceptions. But as I said, we've also had some herd management red deer grinds that took over 6,000. So it's just one of those things where the more you grind and when you get to a point where you have 28,000 whitetail kills like I do, there's bound to be a couple grinds that go quickly. And uh, that tends to be the way that it was with our grinds. Uh, if we go back even further, I had plenty of grinds for Whitetail that were almost 2,000 kills, and then I had a couple more that were sub 800, so it's just natural that there's going to be a lot of variance if you grind enough, but the majority of them do come out to be around 1,200 to 1,800 in most scenarios, whether I'm using it or not using it, and that has so far been what we have really seen a lot of. So at the end of the day, I really don't think that it does help the respawns of great ones. I've said this so many times on the channel at this point that I'm sure you guys are tired of hearing it, but every time that we get something that does show that that's probably the case, I gotta make sure that we at least talk about it a little bit because I do feel like there's a lot of people that will just say an opinion without really looking at the uh, facts or the data that they have behind it and uh, give you a false sense of what's actually going on. Now, not to say that anybody's wrong for feeling differently because everybody's got their own experiences. Everybody kind of forms an opinion based on what they've experienced. And I try to make that very clear that I don't think anybody is wrong for believing the way they do. For all we know, I could be wrong in what I'm saying right now. And I don't think that anybody in the community should ever be attacked for the way they believe in uh, how the game works. Because at the end of the day, we're all just looking at everything that happens and taking a wild guess to the best of our ability. And at the end of the day, I guess the whole point is that for literally every situation where you could say it's in favor of one thing, you could also point to a situation that is against it. Everybody's experiences are different in this game, and there is a lot of stuff that will contradict the opinions of each individual. And so at the end of the day, if the developers haven't directly come out and said that one thing does or doesn't affect something, then there's really no way to know except the speculation of the community. So whether it does or doesn't affect it, as of now, I have not seen enough evidence to say that it does. So I will continue to believe that it has no effect until I see something that gives me 100% confirmation. Because that's just the way I am. If I can't get 100% confirmation on thing, I'm not going to believe that it's the case. As I think I usually would be with pretty much any situation. I try to make sure that I'm 100% right on something. Sorry for the lengthy uh, rant on it, but I felt like it was something that needed to be said because I see so many conflicting opinions throughout the community. And uh, to be honest, at the end of the day, if you're having fun with the game, it really doesn't matter. But I do feel like this type of stuff needs to be pointed out and talked about as a lot of people tend to just look at a few situations and be like, oh, yes, this 100% does or doesn't affect it. When in reality, you need to take a look at the wider scope of things and really take it all in because as i said earlier for every situation that somebody gets one quickly there's somebody that gets one in thousands upon thousands of kills using the exact same methods or lack thereof methods so at the end of the day there's not really any reason to be fighting over it and now that we're done with that, let's go ahead and take a look at this beauty right here. This is actually our second highest scoring Great One Whitetail that we have ever killed. Our highest scoring one being around 635. This guy is 633.5, so it is an absolute giant and a beautiful, beautiful Whitetail. I really appreciate all of you watching this video and getting to see us take down this beauty with the 7mm and kind of even getting a behind the scenes look at what Scarecrow does when he's not streaming. So I'm sure that some of you will appreciate that and also if you agree or disagree with the topic on great ones and how they spawn, be sure to leave a comment down below. Always uh, willing to have a discussion provided you're not being rude. So if you have an opinion against or for whatever I'm saying, be sure to leave it in the comments and I will respond to as many of them as I can. But as always, just be cordial and don't attack anybody for their opinions. And if you guys enjoy this type of content and you're not subscribed to the channel already, be sure to do so and also click that notification bell as there's a lot of people that don't get notifications for the videos and are asking why they never see them. That would be why. You got to make sure you got that bell ding so that you will be sure to get all the notifications for every video and stream that I put on the channel. With that being said, thank you all for watching and I will see you all in the next one.